Natasha, you are participating in this year's Labs of Democracy 2022 um, on climate and energy issues. Why did you take the time? Well, one, I think it's an amazing program. It's a great opportunity to, to learn what people are doing in Germany, to look, look at what other states are doing. And if you look at California, you look at the news, you'll see California is on the front lines of the climate crisis. And so really this year's theme of energy and the climate crisis and how do we do climate protection is really what we all need to be collaborating with. And it's a great program. We were in Mecklenburg, Fort Palmer in uh, May, and now we're here in New Jersey. Which district are you uh, representing and what are the main, most, uh, the biggest challenges? So where I represent, I represent parts of San Diego County and it's a very coastal district. And so sea level rise is one of our biggest challenges. And what was very interesting on this trip was we actually met with the environmental commissioner for the state of New Jersey and looking at how they're doing the modeling of how uh, sea level rise will affect New Jersey. And it's very similar to what we're facing in California. In this program, you are meeting uh, German legislators um, from all parties, um, but you are also meeting colleagues from the United States um, from both parties. Is there anything you already take away from that experience? Yes, I mean, I think it's really fascinating that we get on the sub-national level that we're able to look and we're able to see what are the different states doing. So Massachusetts is, a, is one of the other leaders in addressing the climate change, uh, addressing climate change, um, as are German state legislators. California's sister state is actually Baden-Württemberg, so we have a legislator there, um, Daniel, and it's been great talking about what they're doing, how they're doing hydrogen, how they're doing offshore wind, Offshore wind in California will look quite different, but we're really looking to ramp that up to address our energy crisis needs. So if somebody had just one day time to visit your district, um, what should that person do and look at? Well, I would say go to the beaches because we have some of the most amazing beaches. My personal local beach is Beacons, um, but Moonlight Beach is uh, very, very popular. We get over three million visitors a year. And since you lived in Germany, what's your favorite place in Germany? I'd have to say Berlin. I lived there for a really long time. And, you know, when we were back in uh, Schwerin, I got to spend a little bit of uh, time in Berlin again. And it is just such an amazing city. And they're doing so much as an urban city on how to address the climate crisis. So I've really enjoyed the exchange with my counterpart from Berlin as well. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you, Stormy.